my uncle was my uncle used to work at UNL. He was a, a researcher here, and um, so I just came here. And my cousins, they, my cousin used to live here, and my sister was here, so I just came here. Oh, your sister was here as well? Yeah, she went to school. She went to the same high school with me, and she went to the school. And she actually went to Washington, University of Washington, and she just oh. graduated. Oh, really? She yeah. went out to Seattle, huh? Yeah. Now, why did you said that you had an uncle here, but why why move over here though? I mean, um, what, what kind of I thought. Uh, I mean, my parents. I didn't really have a choice, but uh, <laughs> my parents thought it would be neat. Uh, Send me over here and have education in America and just. I don't know, I guess. What was the education system like in South Korea? Um, it's, I mean, I guess I don't really know the difference, but it's really hard to go to college in Korea because there are so many people who live in small, smaller cities, so. Were you from a small town or? No, I'm from uh, Seoul. You're from Seoul? Korea. Yeah. Okay. So when did you come over here? I came here uh, when I was 14 years old. I think it was 2004. So eighth grade? Yeah, eighth grade, yeah. Did you know anything about football when you came over here? No, I didn't know anything about football. <laughs> I just started playing football when I was uh, when I was sophomore year in high school. Why'd you do it? Um, I thought it was just cool to like put helmets on and <laughs> just pads on and just hitting each other. But I thought it was pretty cool. Did uh did they encourage you to maybe the, the people at school encourage you to play because you're a pretty good sized guy? Yeah, um, well I play baseball and I love to play baseball. But um, I saw um, my friends and people like on the, on the field hitting each other. So I thought it was pretty cool and I asked uh, one of the coach and he said, well you should go out for football and play. And that's how I started playing football. So when you went out for football, was it as much fun to, to actually get in on the hitting then as it looked like um, when you, before you Actually, no, it was not really. It's, <laughs> it looks fun, but you were like, why? They, it was pretty intense. I never, yeah, I just I never had that experience before. So I was like, well, this is pretty intense. I got to buckle up, you know. When did you uh, realize that maybe you were pretty good at it? Um. I never thought I was good at it, but I just went to uh, one of Nebraska camp my, before my senior year, and I played defense tackle then, and um, I don't know that, uh, but defense coach, they asked me um, if I can come to ne next camp, so I went there, and I guess that's how they recruit me. Yeah, it's it Kevin Cosgrove, right? That, that kind of discovered you a little bit back then. I mean, kind of what what did he tell you about maybe the possibilities of you not only coming here because you had to walk on, but eventually playing? I mean, has this kind of been a whirlwind since that point? Um, I didn't know. I um, ex honestly, like they just asked me to uh, walk on, and I mean, yeah, it's pretty cool, but I didn't really realize how, like. Um, I don't know what word I'm just looking for, but um, yeah, I guess, I don't know. Well, but Cosgrove did recruit you? Yeah, um, he came to my uh, high school, and he asked me to go to the next camp, and then, um, and then yeah, that, that's how they... Um, Were you about the same size in high school? Yeah, um, same height, and I was a little bit heavier, but yeah. But How much did you weigh in high school? Uh, actually, I was over 300 pounds. I, okay. I was like three, pushing 320. But <laughs> yeah. When did you start lifting weights and get into? Ah, um, when I was young, like my dad used to play sports in college, <coughs> so like I, um, I follow him to go to like workout place, and he, he always make me running on every Sunday morning. But other than that, like I start lifting. Um, Sophomore in high school, I think. Yeah. So you didn't lift until you came over here. Right? No, nah, not much. Yeah. Was your dad a big guy? Um, he was a um, he's pretty good size. He used to uh, do judo in college, so he was a big guy. I mean, how big is he compared to you? I mean, he compared to me. He's not <laughs> really big, but he's still 
he he probably he probably stronger than me right now. <laughs> but when did you realize how big a deal it was to play at Nebraska? Um, um, I think my uh, I came here. My first game was spring spring game. Um, was my um, I think it was my senior year. My one of my coach took me to the game spring game, and I thought. I saw like 80 some thousand people just sitting in the one spot and just cheering for Nebraska. I thought it was really cool, and I I, t I remember I told him and I was like, um, one of these day if I can play, that'd be awesome. Yeah, just remember that. What do you think of you know having started last Saturday's game? Uh, just given kind of where you've been and kind of up to this point, how big of a milestone was that for you to um, actually get to start a game? Oh, it was a great experience. I was n a little bit nervous, but um, after a few plays, you know, I was fine and um, I thought I was ready to go and just prepare and so, yeah. How, how do you feel you did? Oh, I think I did all right. I watched I watched film and there were a couple of plays that I should have done better, but um, I, there are some plays that I need to work on. And yeah. Do you know how many snaps you got? Um, I really don't know. Okay. Really don't know. But you're a part of that rotation, right? Yeah. The, I think yep. they're rotating three guys in and out. Yeah. How big of a culture shock was there for you when you came from South Korea to Lincoln, Nebraska? Um, it was actually a lot different than what I expected. I thought, well, it's America, so it'll be like big buildings and, you know, all the, I don't know, just, but um, actually I came here, and my first impression was, wow, this is really small and <laughs> just, there's really nothing around Nebraska. Because where I grew up was a, it's really big city. So compared to my hometown, here is really, you know. But your your parents are still back home, right? Yeah. But so can you just talk a, kind of about that transition, uh, uh, leaving them behind and and the host family you're with, and and how much they've meant to you, I guess. Yeah. Um. My parents. Yeah. My parents still lives in Korea, and. Um, when I came here, I was 14 years old, so I was really young, and um, I really had a homesick. I called my mom, and um, I called my mom every day and say like, I want to go back, but um, it was really tough just being away from my parents and that I can go if I want to see them, you know? But I went home like once a year, um, so I mean, now I, grew up and I love being in Nebraska and I usually don't get homesick no more so were they able to watch on the the computer or listen or yeah they did um, they my dad's really huge fan so they he always tried to follow um, little those uh, dot diagram thing and try to watch football and he watched uh, all the NFL games <laughs> and yeah he always follows have they ever seen you play in person um no, they haven't yet. They haven't seen you play in high school or in. Well, they had. They watched on film, but okay, they but never really, in person. Uh uh. They've never been here. They've been here. Um, they they were here two years ago. They went to a game and yeah, they thought it was really cool. <laughs> Is that we came here to a game? Yeah, they, okay. Two years ago. Is that a goal? Maybe like for them to get here your senior year and see you in person or? Yeah, um, they actually planning on come here um, end of October. My mom and my dad and. Hopefully my sister will come here and watch game. Coach Cotton last week called you a turtle. Yeah. He said uh, you're sh you've been slow and steady. Yeah. Do you feel like your hard work has kind of finally paid off? How how, how big of a relief is um, that? Yeah, it's it's. I mean, yeah, I I believe so. And that's one thing my dad and my mom always told me. Like, um, no matter what, like, hard. Um, if you work really hard. Um, you're gonna get it, and even though you don't get it, you will know that you won't regret. So, um, yeah, I guess that's how I motivate, motivate myself. And